Good morning home grown. This is Christy and today's video is on terracotta plant watering spikes. Some of you already use these or may have already seen these before. I was just recently introduced to these and I absolutely love them. I'm not going to be doing a review today on a particular brand just because I'm going to assume these are made similar and they're probably going to be mostly universal depending on the company you get them from. I would say they're probably just about all the same. What introduced me to these was I spent some time at my father's house and his wife has many, many plants in her house, just as I do. And she uses the watering globes to water her plants. Now, I water my plants every, well, it's about probably every weekend, Saturday morning I get up and it's kind of a habit or a ritual, I guess if you want to call it. This can take up to close to a half an hour for the amount of plants that I have. I would love to have more plants. I'm kind of a plant addict. However, the globes that I've noticed, I thought it was a great idea to have these. What I don't like about them is they're enclosed and you have to pull it off, put it under the water spigot to fill the top and then stick it back down in the plant. Now, if you have many, many, many plants, then that's going to take forever. That's going to probably quadruple the amount of time it's going to take me trips to the sink. Sometimes dirt gets in that little stem and then you have to get that out and it just seems like a big mess to me. So when I saw this one that she had and it's in the shape of a tulip, I absolutely loved it just because the top of it is open. Well, what I ran into was the fact that it was so pricey. I went to look up globes and the little globes that you could get, you could get depending on where you ordered them from varied drastically in price. Uh, if you were wanting to order from America, it seemed like it was um, a little more pricey. However, these particular, they called them tulip globes, were very expensive and I wanted to have one for each plant. Now, this, the convenience for me was to be able to just pour the water right in the top. You didn't have to take the globe out and put it under your spout or put it in a bucket to water your plants. It's just like anything else. You put water in it and it dispenses as it's needed. So when I seen the price of these, I thought I'm going to have to come up with another method. And that is where I found these. These are plant watering spikes. They're made from terracotta. This is the particular box that I ordered. I'm going to show you. I actually ordered two of these because the first order had six in it and I thought, wow, that's going to get me a long ways and actually I quickly realized actually how many plants that I had because before I knew it I was going back and the box was empty. So they come like this. I hate these little star foam things but they're packaged really well and I was really surprised at how large these were. I was thinking you know they were going to be about that big and when I got them they are the size of my hand and they're very large, they have a very large diameter. So these are twice the size of what I expected, which is great because, you know, the more water for my plants. Now, there are directions on the box. One thing I've had to tweak a little bit is that they want you to take your bottle of water, put the spike on it, and then turn the spike upside down to put it in your plant. That puts me back at the same spot I was with the globes, where you're going to have to take it out and put it back. Problem with this one is, the terracotta is probably as delicate to me as the glasses, and I don't want to take the risk of breaking these. So the directions say you want to bury these about that far in the ground, as far as possible, in your plant or in your ground, okay? Um, what I've decided to do, and it's actually been working fantastic for me, is I just leave this in the ground. I do not take it back out. Now, one thing to remember is they specify you cannot put it at an angle. So this is common sense, I think. If you put it in here and you put a bottle sticking out the side, it's going to tilt and fall out. Unless you're just sticking it in there like this, and the only thing you're going to have in the plant is this, and you're pouring the water in there, that might work okay. Um... But if you're going to put the bottle in the top to have as a water feeder, then you're going to want it to be straight up and down. Now, in, and I'm going to sit this on the floor to show you. In this one here, you can see, 
Uh, yeah, you should see. These are trees that I'm trying to get established and started before I take them outside. This is very cold weather here. And I actually could have buried this as far as I wanted to. And I did. I, I buried it pretty deep. And then when you, when it dries out, you can do two things. You can dump your water from here just, just in there like that. And I have some pots that I actually do that for, where the pot is smaller and I just want this amount of water in here to last for the whole week. And that's great. However, with these trees, I want to make sure that there's moisture with them at all times. And they say on the box how to tell if you have enough moisture or not is by looking at your terracotta cone. And I don't know if you can tell in the video or not, but that cone is very dark in color. This one is not. This one is dry. That one's wet. So when you look at that one and you can tell that it's dark in color, it has water um, still in it. Now, this one here, I couldn't bury it as deep because my pot is pretty shallow. These are little, I don't know if you want to call them inch, couple inch pots. These are bay trees that I had brought in and I'm trying to get these established also. So right now I just have them in here for now because they came in a little plastic pot. And if you can look, it's as far as it can go. This spike is all, all the way to the bottom. I just want to make sure that there is moisture to the base of these trees, uh, to the roots at all times. And that's the reason why I've decided to have the bottle in here. And I love this because I save bottles of things that we've used around the home all the time for making uh, infusions and tinctures, things like that. And you need bottles to sit on the shelf. And here is, uh, this one's a virgin olive oil and the green I think is really pretty. Sometimes I'll put them in the window and let the sun shine through. I have a blue one up there. It's very pretty with the sun coming through it. This one I was perfect for this kind of a Mediterranean look. You know, I have, this is a, it's a Galena Garlic Company and it's olive oil vinaigrette. And so it's kind of, you know, you have this Mediterranean theme going here. So I love it. But um, I want to make sure there's water at the base of these trees the, is the whole entire time. So I've literally just put this in here. Now, and I keep a bottle in this one too. So instead of pouring it in like I do with some of my other ones, you just fill this up with water. And then you take the bottle. And the cost on these, this cost me... $19 on Amazon for, there, there is eight in here. Let me fold this up and I will show you. Here's the box. I didn't get this flap in there. It doesn't really don't matter, but here's the box. And these were $18.99, $19. Shipping was free because I have Prime. I don't know if the shipping was free with or without Prime. But anyway, it shows the type of bottles on the end that will work in here. And then on the other side, it shows the actual directions that I was telling you about that I don't follow. Just because I think it's going to be a pain in the rear end to have to take that spike out every time. I bury it and I leave it. So I did see these on, actually the first box that I purchased of these, I spent $24 on. And then when I went back to get more, because of my search history, it pulled this one up for $18, and I was kind of frustrated because I had spent $24 for one, and, but I was glad that I was getting a deal, so um, keep an eye on that, and that's where I got that from, so I'm not an affiliate in any way, just wanted to share some things with you guys as to what I got and where I got it from. Okay, so I have my extra virgin olive oil bottle here. I filled it up, and I'm literally just going to turn this upside down, and there it goes. And it just sits there and it feeds down in there. And, you know, because the water comes to the level on the, in the spike where the bottle is, it stops. And when the water absorbs into the soil, it pulls it down, gravity fed. So I love these things. I will be purchasing more hopefully in the future. These are used for people who leave and travel a lot and want house plants for people who go on vacation. You can fill these with either a bottle like this. Uh, or just fill this up. You're going to be gone for a couple days. If you're home a lot, just leave this in here and you can pour the water in here and it feeds out when it needs it. Or if you go on vacation, you get you a used bottle that you've saved and that you've cleaned out. You don't want anything going into the plant, say a vinegar or something that might 
kill your plant. So wash your bottles out, save them on the shelf, and then when you're ready, when you're on vacation, fill this with water, stick it upside down, and then you have an all-time waterer for your plants. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.